As the investigation begins in Hua Hin into what's described as false hotel licenses seen by officials during visits to boarding houses, the chances are that thousands upon thousands of Thai families will quickly end up with zero income. This as guest houses close around the nation for fear of heavy fines. Add to that the hundreds of thousands who make a living from guest house residents, and the future appears to be rather cloudy. The Hotel Act, which in 2016 gave five years for guest houses to meet standards, has been implemented in full this year, with it effects that may not have been imagined when it was written. Families who make honest livings, maids, cooks, cleaners, receptionists and handymen, all make up a typical guest house staff. While many guest house operators brought it on themselves by not paying room tax, failing to make any improvements and so forth, others have made buildings safe, comfortable and affordable for both Thai and non-Thai visitors. For the Thai families that depend on boarding houses for their families to survive, there isn't a fast and easy answer, but it is understood that the powers that be are reviewing the situation. The point system for driving licences will go into effect next year, this according to the police. Three levels of offences earning different point deductions from an annual start of 12. If you run out, you're banned. It appears that the 12 points are automatically replenished annually. But habitually bad drivers will see bans increase to up to 12 months. Natural waterfall management teams nationwide are on alert, with orders to monitor major waterfall tourist attractions and to close them when heavy rains cause them to become dangerous to the public. Tourists planning to visit are recommended to ask their agents to check before travelling and choose those where water flow is safe. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya and the international fireworks display at the weekend brought visitors from overseas together with local nationals, all watching and ooing at the sight that befell them. Saturday was the big day and with clear skies it was amazing, seeing entrants from multiple nations taking part. A Chinese-run illegal plastic waste factory has been closed down after officials paid it a visit. Tons of plastic and computer waste was discovered after locals complained that the factory, which was unlicensed, was dumping waste water into the water table that feeds local homes. The Australian, who was stabbed in a disco toilet last week, needing hospitalisation, has told his side of the story, as others claimed that he pinched a man's girlfriend's bum, and that led to the attack. He denies that completely. CCTV tells a different story. But either way, he's recovering, and the knife man is already thought to have fled the country. A reminder, perhaps, that not every woman here has either a price tag or enjoys being molested in public. And the Battle of the Pies took place at the weekend, organised by a local bar in Seambury's. All pie makers were invited to enter their products in a blind tasting by a handful of judges, including our own Denny Jackson. Facebook has been awash for months with fans of this or that or the other pie. Some refused the offer to enter, so can be discounted. Most did enter, and all fared well. London Pie seems to have come out tops, with some from Ko Chang, Prime, Tinnies and A's making the top five slots. 24 blackbirds were spotted fleeing the city the night before. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 31, dropping to 28, and a guarantee of showers at some time. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun.